So as to continue from the previous video, as I said, uh, you have a situation where you have E naught is the applied field and the E naught field is high enough to sustain the corona at the tip of the negative electrode. Now, as ionization happens, there is an ES field, which is the space charge field, and the space charge field will increase as more and more ionization takes place. And the ES field is directed in a direction opposite to the applied field, so the field at the tip of the needle is reducing. It will reduce to a value E0 minus ES. Now, if ES is high enough, you may have a situation where E0 minus ES is less than EC, which is the field required to sustain a corona. So at this point, what happens? There is not sufficient field ahead of the needle, and therefore the corona is extinguished. Again, after that, the space charge is removed, and the field keeps on increasing as ES keeps decreasing, and ultimately it reaches the value E0. E0 is again sufficient to sustain corona, so corona restrikes. So this is why when you have a negative pulse, negative polarity, you will see small pulses on the surface of the conductor. They come and go. They are very, they are pulsating in nature. Then what happens when you increase the voltage further? The space charge is still there, and E naught is reduced by quantity E s. But since you have increased E naught. E0 is sufficiently larger than ES so that even when ES is very high and E0 minus ES is never so low as to go below the critical uh, corona insert voltage. So that means even though there is sufficient ES, E0 is high enough to be able to sustain the corona even in the presence of ES. And that's when you have a stable glow and uh, you see a continuous part, you have continuous pulseless current flowing and you see a steady glow. When you increase the discharge further, then you see streamers emanating from the glow. So basically the discharge is taking the electrons, the charged particles to region further and further away from your uh, conductor and ultimately there will be incomplete streamers are going to be formed and you increase it further, complete breakdown will fall, may fall. That is what you have with negative polarity. What is the scenario when you have positive polarity? In positive polarity, instead of this kind of trickle pulses or corona of pulsative nature, you see burst pulse streamers. So you, stream, you see streamers, but they are burst pulse. It's, they are also pulsative, but they happen in bursts. In the sense that they have, compared to the trickle pulses, they have a slower rise time. So they are a wider wave shape and they are of smaller magnitude. That is the difference between your uh, pulse streamers and pulses. Both are transient in nature. In this case, the physical process is somewhat different. You have positive polarity here. Ionization takes place ahead of the positive polarity need, positive needle. And you have electrons close to the needle. You have positive ions ahead of the uh, needle. These positive ions move slowly. They're massive and they have to cover a large distance. They have to cover this entire gap distance before they can reach the other electrode. Whereas these electrons are closer to the positive electron, they are a positive electrode, and they are smaller, less massive, so they're quickly sucked into the positive electrode. So as a result, when you have this kind of ionization, it will quickly reach a scenario like this here, where the negative electrons have been sucked in, and you really have overwhelmingly a large positive cloud charge, a positively charged cloud ahead of the uh, positive electron. Now, this is very similar to a situation where the effective radius of the positive polarity conductor has increased. Now, as you know, to sustain the corona, the corona inception voltage among, or the corona inception fields, among other things, depends upon the radius. So if you effectively increase the radius of your conductor, you will need higher voltages, higher fields to sustain the corona. So the discharge will stop when the effective field falls below critical levels. So it's a similar thing. It's something very similar to what is happening in the previous case, except that this kind of charge cloud will need a longer time to develop. And so it is a much more slower process. 
So when it falls below critical level, the effective field the discharge stops and then you give it time, there's positive polarity. So no more ionization happening, these positive charges will drift because of the electro because of the electric field they will go towards so this place will again clear up and when this um, uh, this space clears up again the field rises to the value e naught when it reaches the value e naught again the discharge restrikes so again in case of positive corona also you have a pulsative nature fields because of ionization field is reduced when field is reduced, ionization stops, the charges are cleared away, field is regained. When field is regained, the discharge restrikes. So the situation is similar, but not quite the same. And as I say, this process needs lower rise time and smaller and leads to smaller magnitude pulses. Now, if you increase the voltage further, you have a positive glow in a manner very similar to the negative glow. The field is high enough even in the presence of space charge to sustain the corona. So you, this glow will not be transient in nature. There will be a stable glow on the surface of the conductor. It is different from the trickle pulses. The trickle pulses are red in color. This positive glow, as I have already mentioned, appears as a uniform bluish white sheet over the entire surface of the conductor. If you increase the voltage further, there will be pre-breakdown streamers just as before and ultimately complete breakdown will happen. Uh, there is some more issues with the space charge effect which decides the breakdown in case of positive polarity and negative polarity conductor. When you have a positive polarity conductor, you have ionization ahead of the needle. These are the negative electrons. These are the positive charges. The positive charges are drifting slowly. So you have a large number of positive charges here and a few electrons here. Most of the electrons have been have reached the electrode. As a result, the space charge field will again uh, modulate the applied electric field. And this is the manner in which it will be modulated. So it will be reduced a little right in front of the conductor because you have a positive to negative space charge field in the direction opposite to the applied field. So it is reduced a little bit here. And then it is again increased. It Just ahead of the positive charge, it is increased further. And then it more or less tends to follow the nature of the uh, elect ex applied electric field. So dash line gives you the nature of the applied electric field when there is no space charge. And the solid line gives you the field when you have some space charge. So you have a field intensification a little ahead of the needle. So it is like... The needle uh, plate distance has reduced and it is as if the needle has advanced a little bit into the gap distance. What happens when you have negative polarity, you have positive charges here. The negative charges have almost reached the electrode. Most of them have been uh, have reached the ground electrode and there may be a few charges struggling here. So the field modification in this case is much less. This is the field that you see without space charge. Here you have reduction for quite some distance ahead of the needle and a little bit of intensification right next to the ground electrode. So what you see here is this appears to be more dangerous because you're intensifying the field in such a manner as if your gap distance is reduced and your uh, irregular or needle electrode has kind of advanced towards the other electrode. So therefore, and here you see you have some mitigating factor. The ES is kind of reducing the electric field in the region where the field is highest. Here it is intensified, but here you see the field will be lower. In a non-uniform field, the field will be low towards this electrode. So that's not a problem. But here, where it is high, it is reduced. So the outcome of this is that breakdown occurs at a much higher voltage for negative polarity. And this is the point which I made in the previous slides. So breakdown is always likelier in positive half cycle. And if you apply positive polarity or negative polarity, it is more likely that breakdown will occur when you have uh, positive polarity. With negative polarity, you are somewhat prepared.